If I was an old Studebaker motor sitting around for a decade, I think before I ran much, I'd want some oil. A little of everywhere. We already poured some down in the pistons last time. And we're gonna give the drivetrain a little bit of oiling. And this is just stuff that came out of my van. It doesn't really have high miles on it or anything. It's kind of black, but it's, it's still good oil. It's got viscosity. Most of it is gonna go hopefully down onto the cam. We're just gonna get a little prelude. Now, it wasn't too dry. I'm not concerned, I'm just thinking, you know, get some lubrication in there. Got the distributor that we got from Mopar Al. Thank you, Al. Uh, hey, uh, you could clean it next time, Al. Dang. But anyways, we got what we needed. I hope they kept the air just filter clean, so which so they did not. Really put that piece of crap on there. This is the time it takes. What have we been working on this thing for now? A week of Sundays. Oh, you haven't had how the hours? You don't have much time. No, it's it's not much time. No parts either. Well, no, that's not true. I got parts from Mopar out. I think if I didn't yeah, have parts more, from... More time going and getting the parts. Than working out. I could have fixed that other distributor in the amount of time we spent going to see Mopar out, but that yeah, was but we, nice. Yeah, but we did some other things too down there. Oh, yeah, we had to talk to him about some future another, projects. Another car, yeah. Come on! Definitely a different model. Let me, you know. Never up. Well, this is miserable. Click. I think it's tight enough. Is it rocking or is it? No, it's tight enough for for a test. We're putting these spark plugs back in. We just gave them a little brush to make sure they're not too bad, but they're obviously well worn. Some kind of a. Uh, Mighty brand spark plugs. There they are. They are properly gapped, but well, well worn. We're going to put them in there, and uh, it'll probably run. Ignition coil. And uh, we're just disregarding the car's ignition. It's going to happen. It's We've got the ground here. We've got power over there. We're going to put it to the uh, starter. We've got our coil wired up, we've got our distributor here, we have no timing whatsoever. This thing just like, just moves, so I don't know, we'll have to figure out where it's supposed to be. We got our dipstick, this is our lawnmower oh, gas from right. last season, and we'll put a little bit of, put just a squirt of AMS oil. It's just lawnmower gas and AMS oil. Coil. So. You're going to start this? Let's see what happens. Oh, well, it's going to get really smoky in here. Well, if it actually starts, it will. Now I set the juice down again. Okay. Put the juice down. Let's see what happens. Be brave. That's not much crank. Give it 50. Well, it, it was cranking without the plugs in it. So there's the problem. No, you're welding. Getting to that. Oh, I think you compression. Oh, and you got big long cables and dubious battery and dubious. You got this thing on too much. Well, we got our starter apart, and uh, brushes are worn down a bit, but I think there's enough to still make that work. It's kind of dirty though. Kind of icky. I'm gonna clean it up and uh, give it another try. It doesn't look like anything's obviously like completely cooked. It does look like there was some contact happening though, and that's no good. We'll go back together as soon as we find a washer. 
I was uh, spinning around to get the uh, flywheel cleaned up and I find a big couple big blobs of dirt in there. So what I've got, I've got a, I've got a drill bit and I'm just in here cleaning out every one of these little teeth so that the starter can turn through there without binding on any high spots here. I'll just turn it a little bit, see what each little section looks like. You see there's a lot of Debra, something going on there, a little bit of moisture infiltration. So we're going to get that cleaned up and hopefully that helps with the uh, starter binding. We're going to see if it cranks over at least now. Put one spark plug in. Oh, look at all the smoke. What's the smoke? You know, smoke. <laughs> you know, smoke. I think I'll put two in and let them compress their abs until they're happy, and then go two more and two more. Screwing in spark plugs. So it's bad, I guess. I don't know. Oh yeah, that's what makes it not go. Well, we know it has some compression. That's what I was going to say. At least we know there's compression. Okay, so... So, a lot of the problem is a really marginal battery. Let's see how marginal the other marginal battery is. Don't, don't Jesus, fall. Oh, man, that was... That's it, I'm falling over stuff because I got too much stuff done. At least the tools are getting organized. Let's see what happens. This is lots worse problems with too much compression. <laughs> I have too much compression. Why has it got so much compression that I can't? Starter's just bad. Battery's just bad. I think the battery, these batteries are dubious batteries from a while ago. Old dates on them and we zapped them and now they take some charge. Alright, I thought I was going to get it there today, but it's just not <laughs> happening. 